Doug McGregor, a retired U.S. Army colonel, and he joins us now. Colonel, great to see you this evening. Just a whirlwind, whiplash of news today when it comes to Russia and Ukraine. What should we make of it? Well, not uh, quite what uh, Senator Graham had to say, or for that matter, Sen uh, President Biden. The destruction of the pipeline was clearly not executed by Russia. No one believes that. In fact, the German population has been polled and overwhelmingly uh, is opposed to the notion of any war with Russia and dismisses out of hand the notion that the Russians are responsible for the pipeline. I think three things are, are what we're dealing with right now. First of all, Putin has decided that no one in Washington will negotiate with him, and he knows that Washington is ultimately in control. And so he's decided that in response, he's got to escalate the military operation. People aren't aware of it in the West, but the Russian forces in Ukraine have always been outnumbered from the day they entered Ukraine. That's going to change rather dramatically. And I suspect the bombers that you referred to, who carry both conventional or nuclear weapons, will have conventional arms. And those bombers are probably going to be used in the escalation that we're about to witness in Ukraine. And I think he's going to settle this dispute in Ukraine on terms that uh, are acceptable to Russia that we may not like. But other than Poland, no one in NATO is interested in going to war with Russia. If we persist on this line, we will see NATO dis dissolve and fragment. Because they will assume you're saying they will not follow Poland's lead, not stand together. As a, I assume that's what you're saying, Colonel? Of course, absolutely. No yeah. one wants to go to war with Russia other than the Poles and the, a few people in Washington, D.C. Well, that will be the key. That will be the key, whether or not, if the world will not follow the Poland into war with Russia, will, in fact, the leaders of the United States of America push the world into war with Russia. Colonel Doug McGregor, always great to hear from you. Thank you so much.